Ron, tell us about your background. Okay, well, uh, born and raised Bronx, New York, educated in the Bronx, New York public school system. I uh, attended school in Arizona, Eastern Arizona College, but I graduated here in New York at the Center of Media Arts, wanted to be into film. Um, currently father of two, 12 years removed from each other, daughters, um, uh, Pat, Patricia, who is the older one, and of course Yvonne, who you folks know, married to my lovely childhood friend Patricia, although we never dated then. And uh, we've been together some, uh, how old are you, Yvonne? 23? We've been together 24 years. Matter of fact, I got to get ready for the 25th anniversary. So uh, we'll get ready to cross. But we've known each other since 16 years old. Uh, I am a uh, product of the Department of Education in terms of employment as a parent coordinator. Uh, funny as it is, uh, the journey that you folks pick up with me uh, with Yvonne started from kindergarten because I literally went into school in this job when Yvonne was a kindergarten student. So we walked in together. My plan was to walk out with her, but uh, unfortunately I got snake bit in caring for uh, the people I served and all of the kids. Uh, Yvonne's pun is that I got hundreds of brothers and sisters every year because of all the kids from our building and community that attend the school and the school surrounding us. Yvonne, tell us about your background and how you happened to find your way to CCC and why. Um, well, coming out of Cardinal Spelman High School in the Bronx, um, I played softball there um, and signed to go to a school in West Virginia. To, I was actually going to be studying forensic science, so it's way different from what I ended up graduating with recently. Um, but going into the summer of my freshman year, uh, my financial aid package wasn't very helpful for me going to spend four years there. So I had decided to not attend that school. Um, so it was hard trying to figure out where I was going to go next because I had signed there. So uh, with Division II softball, I wasn't really allowed to communicate with other schools besides community colleges. Um, so I had decided to just go out on a whim and just email some schools in upstate New York. Um, I had reached out to Onondaga, Herkimer, and Corning, all three rivals in sports. <laughs> and uh, I had decided to want to go to Corning because Stacy, out of everyone that I had spoke to, was more upfront with me about what my two years would look like. Um, and she made it very family oriented, especially when I went on the tour, everyone on campus made it like it was a huge, one big, huge family. Um, and I really enjoyed that because I was going to be four to five hours away from home. So I wanted to make sure that even though I was ready to be away from home, um, I wanted to still feel like I was home. In other words, um, and Corning definitely made that fit for me. And I enjoyed it a lot from the first weekend, me and my family went up to visit. And until the last weekend I spent there, Corning always had a blast there. So that was our choice as a family. We came up with a plan and that plan stuck for my next two years when I was at Corning, so it was a good decision. Ron, you were just awarded a Trailblazer Award. Tell us about that. Okay, well, I'm uh, still uh, pinching myself over this one, uh, especially with all of the groundbreaking news we just got <laughs> for the New York City school system and our chancellor. But nonetheless, um, I was real proud to be recognized, and at first I thought hoodwink because uh, my good friend Jamal Bowman, who's our uh, congressman in this district, partnered with our controller, uh, um, Scott Stringer, to do a Trailblazer Award, which recognizes some um, New York City's finest in a lot of different areas, education, uh, police, transit, and uh, just kind of highlights some of the good work that uh, these folks are doing. So I am extremely proud and honored to have been considered as a parent coordinator for some of the work that I've done for the last 17 years in terms of uh, particular father, uh, fatherhood initiatives where parent engagement in large and uh, bettering our students and helping them to push forward. So uh, I'm hoping that they grab me because uh, they recognize that I've been uh, trying to make a life 
better for others. And, um, you know, of course, working with uh, any of the New York City agencies, it's a thankless job. You'll never get paid what you do, but at the end of the day, I never stop doing what I know I can. So I was just real proud that the, the patrol in particular, who I do not know, uh, sought to uh, acknowledge the work that I do here at PS 153 up in the Bronx. Yvonne, tell us what you really liked about being a student at CCC. What cool things you did or were involved in? And why do you think it would be a good choice for others from your age group, geographic region, etc.? Um, so one thing I thoroughly enjoyed about going to Corning, so coming from a big city, um, a lot of people would imagine that I just wanted to go to a bigger school. Um, but I enjoyed how small uh, the school was. It made it um, a community for everyone. Um, you, anytime you walked outside of the dorms or outside of the class, you always knew someone. Um, you had a friendly face that was always there for you. Um, and like I've mentioned before, family oriented. Anyone that comes from anywhere and comes to Corning always ends up finding a handful of people that they can consider as family from there and can always count on for someone to, to help them out when they need it. I definitely had plenty of those people when I was there through my two years and they're still there for me now. Um, while I was at Corning, we did so many things. I was an RA while I was there, so there was a lot of programs that I helped run um, and I was a part of a lot of programs that, were, that bonded the community to come up to campus. And that was also one big thing that I liked is not only with our school being up on a hill, um, we not only were just left with people up on campus, but we were also welcomed with people down the hill and in the other counties around. Everyone always knew if you wore a Corning apparel, they were always looking out for you. They knew you went up to school up there. Um, and especially for uh, some of the professors there, they did look out a lot for, for us that were coming up from the city. I know when I was there my freshman year, that was when we had a very big population of kids coming up from New York City and even other uh, states that were coming from out of town. Um, so they, they did very well looking out for us, and that was something I really enjoyed, not having a vehicle uh, on campus. Um, and knowing that somebody could help me out if I needed to go for a quick one to Walmart and I needed to get stuff for my dorm room. It was always nice to know that I had someone that was there to help look out for me. Ron, you are recruiting students from the New York City region to join the Red Baron family at CCC. Why should those students go all the way out to Corning to go to college instead of staying local? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, and uh, although there, most avenues uh, will be very diversely different than the one that led my daughter there and us as a family, but being here in the city, a lot of the kids want to get out of the city. Now, I myself am a product of uh, NYCHA housing, and um, a lot of these kids don't even see grass in their community. So it's really good to see how the other side, so to speak, lives and to recognize the riches that are right here in our own beloved state of New York. Um, but I just feel personally that Corning is a tremendously good fit. Uh, some of the comments that Yvonne just made um, has a lot to do with it. The family-enriched environment, the education, the first stop to your future, and to do it seamlessly painless, you know, as opposed to uh, – you know, looking at some of the other schools uh, throughout the CUNY system, which I don't want to beat them up, but I think that they kind of hoodwink a lot of our kids in these high schools thinking that these are the only options. CCC provided a real good option. Of course, there's plenty of other schools when you go upstate, but CCC, for me, um, is family. It is something that the kids coming out of the inner city need to see if they do, in fact, want to go away, which I'm finding a lot of them do but they're always told that there's no money, they can't make it, and um, CCC provides a good avenue, I think, for any kid looking to move, get out of the, the neighborhood for a little bit, get their education, and take that first big journey, a big step toward higher education. Yvonne, you came to Corning from New York City. What really struck you about the differences in lifestyle, people, etc., whether it's good or bad, I will say that I, before going into Corning, um, not to say that I was used to the environment that I was going to be in for the next two, two years, but fortunately for me, 
Um, I played travel ball, so I was very used to getting out of state or going upstate and being around in that environment. A lot of my teammates that I played it with uh, were in the type of environment that I was going to for school for the next two years. Um, nonetheless, the average kid that comes from the city that goes up there isn't really exposed to that environment. So I will say a lot of a lot of my friends during my first two years that were, were from the city, a lot of them from Brooklyn, Manhattan, um, it was like a culture shock for them coming up there. They're like, what is this? We, we went driving down a highway once and we were in between like two cornfields. They're like, what are these things coming out the ground? Like the skies are always so blue. The weather's way colder than the city. But uh, Corning always had a, a welcoming feeling for that. They always knew that we were going to ask redundant questions just because we weren't exposed to it as often in the city. Um, teammates of mine or even uh, my classmates who were very open to, hey, you've never done this. Why don't you come with me? Let me take you around. Let me give you a little tour so you're not like a kid in a candy shop We're trying to figure out what, what, what this all is. Um, so it was very good with that. But I will have to say that my first year, since that was the first time a lot of uh, city kids were coming up into Corning, really, it was when the big population of us started to make the great travel up that way. Um, it was a little different, I think, for both the communities to get used to all of us being up there and Corning not just being a local community college. So it was it was a couple of months of them getting used to us and us getting used to them because it was a new environment for everyone. But as soon as they realized who we were, why we're here, and uh, for a lot of us on athletic teams, they were very welcoming to us because a, a lot of people from Corning and the surrounding uh, counties come up the hill to come see our games or go over with us to away games. So I never really had a bad experience for, from being up there. It was always positive. Um, and for all of my other friends that came with me, we definitely had a blast being around and just new exposures to new things. And a lot of them actually ended up moving up to Corning because they loved it so much. So. Okay, Ron, here's the big question. Why is a community college education a good choice for students? Why not just start out a four year or not at all? And then why CCSD? Again, that is a very loaded question, but a very good question nonetheless. Um, when my child decided to go to school and the first option fell through, um, we sat down as a family and evaluated what options were really on the table. And it wasn't until that moment when we started really pulling back the layers of education at the next level. In doing so, um, it, it really opened my heart and mind to recognize that community college actually, to me, presents more options for those first two years than any four-year school can do. Four-year schools, you either hit, miss, sink, or swim in those first two years. But at community college, you're asked to start to scope what this is going to look like. What do you really want to do? What are you really interested in? And I think that uh, in most four-year schools, you really don't start to answer those questions to year three or four, but coming out the gate in year one or two, that kind of heightens the importance of what this journey is getting ready to be about. And I thought that uh, Corning definitely had that table set in a proper light. I myself am a product of community college. Eastern Arizona, my first stop was a community college in Arizona. And I knew from that point, based on things like economics, and um, I was able to, where if, when I wanted to go to a four-year school coming out of high school, I was going to have to take all these remedial classes, whereas when I went to community college, I all of a sudden was right into my field. And at that time, it was mass media, so I was taking photography, I was doing journalism, and I was hands-on right away. And that's the part about community college that I like. And to be partial, I think that uh, Corning does at a certain level what other schools, at least to my knowledge, uh, may not provide. Or at least when we had the option with Yvonne, those options wasn't on the table the same way they were with Corning. 
And then, of course, you know, when you go to Corning Community and you get the ambassador of education and athletics and Stacey Johnson to take you around the campus and give you the nuts and uh, meats and, and potato and nuts and bolts about what it's, what it's like to have life here as a uh, scholar athlete. And those two terms really were one. They really meshed together to make one. And I got to tell you, and I don't mind saying this, I thought my daughter was extremely average as a student. Am I saying dumb or unsmart? No, just extremely average. I didn't find out that her real attributes with what they were or what were they going to become until she went to Corning. So things like being responsible right away. As opposed to looking at a four-year landscape, you got two years that you can get a bit there and see, will my kid be able to be away? Will she be able to get be independent and do some of the things that she has to do? And then what support will be in place if that doesn't happen? And with Yvonne, we had a hiccup. Yvonne is diabetic, and she went up there and started foregoing her diabetes to be that young college student to the point where I got a phone call about her A1Cs and she's going to be glad my car broke down. I was getting in my car to come and get her. I called Stacy. I said, pack her back. This is it. But along the way, I was also able to speak to Miss Hauk, one of um, uh, Yvonne's teammates' mom. And uh, I forget the lady in the office that I was uh, connecting with at the time, uh, and apologies, but I was able to call the office. And next thing I know, all of these people were running after Yvonne, catching up to Yvonne, making sure Yvonne was okay. And my wife and I, we sat there and we said, wow, this is all the things that we wanted to see happen for her to be away. So now that we knew, as long story short, that the support group was in place, and not only was it in place, but it was personal, and then it, it, something, the light just went off with me. You know why? These guys got two years. This was a short stop. So everyone has a heightened urgency about what's going on with these kids. Are they being educated? Can they really maintain life here in this environment? And now, how do we help them to stay more successful moving forward? So that community college feel to me at Corning was a real eye opener. And since Corning and, you know, Yvonne going on to the next level, looking at other schools, it kept my eyes open to see other schools. I think personally the inner city kid coming out of New York, unless you are the 4.0 summa cum laude blue chip athlete, Corning, uh, not just Corning, but community college is definitely a, a stop that you need to look at. And if you do, and you're able to put uh, Corning on the table against these other schools in that area, I think it's going to be a slam dunk to recognize short of football players that <laughs> Corning Community College may be your, your best go-to place to begin your college journey. And I do thank Corning immensely. I'm tickled pink to be out here referring them. And it's funny, like Stacy said, you do this work anyway. <laughs> so it just happens to be one of those things. But before I came on as a recruiter, I, I think I placed about four kids up at the school. Uh, one while Yvonne was just getting ready to leave and then after she uh, departed, because I just feel that strongly about this opportunity and making sure that we get the word out properly within uh, New York City. Yvonne, you graduated from Corning in 2017. What educational pathways did you follow after that? And what are you planning on doing in the future? What are your ultimate plans? Okay. Actually, recently, so when I graduated from my school, I continued on from Corning University of Maine at Press Style. I actually also, that summer, graduated from Corning as well. I had in my class, I had a tough class that, was a two-parter class and I didn't pass it the first time my anatomy and physiology but once I passed it at my school in, um, in Maine I was able to transfer over my credits so I got two for one deal when I graduated from UMPI. I got my UMPI degree and my Corning degree all at once. <laughs> um, but yeah so once when I was at Corning I was a health and phys ed studies major. Um, my concentration was for athletic training so I was able to take a lot of my prereqs uh, for college, so my English, my math, sciences, I was able to get that, get that out the way, and I was able to do a majority of my prereqs going into to finish my degree for when I went to my next school. Um, so when I went over to the University of Maine at Presque Isle, the athletic training program ended up uh, turning into a master's degree. Uh, that degree was changed nationwide, so I had to really figure out 
okay, what do I want to do? Because now I was an exercise science major. So I was like, do I want to be an AT, a PT, or an OT? And I was like, well, I, I want to establish that now so I know which classes and uh, what I would have to pursue for later on. And I had a really big conversation with um, professors at Corning and then with professors at the University of Maine. And I decided that I wanted to continue in the occupational therapy route. Um, for ATs, I love being around sports and everything, but I had to, to go in for my master's for that. And it, unless I'm working with the professional sports team, that lifestyle wasn't going to be in my light. <laughs> but I, I figured out that I wanted to do OT and um, I did a lot of shadowing and stuff for that while I was at school. I had a lot of, o we had about four different OTs over where I went to school at and I was able to see like one that specialized with hands and one that worked with kids and the elderly. So I was able to get a, a good sense of what I wanted to do and OT was it. <laughs> um, so now that I've graduated, um, I decided to take the year off before going back into school. Um, I now work at a physical therapy office as a PT aide there. So I've been doing that for like the last seven months. Um, this upcoming fall, I'm going to be going down to school in Georgia. Uh, I'm gonna be going to Middle Georgia State University. While I'm there, I'm gonna be in a two-year program for occupational therapist assistant. Um, once I finish that program and I'm licensed, I will probably take another year off before going back into school to get my master's at the same school. Um, so I still have about three to four-ish years left of schooling to do, but it's not so bad. Um, definitely one thing that I always tried to make sure when I left Corning is that my next school had to be family oriented. I Like when I stepped on campus, it had to feel right, just how it did when I went to Corning. Um, it de definitely took about going to maybe four schools and then my parents and I were like, we're going to the University of Maine Prescott. I was like, this is the only school that's cutting it. This is the only school that academically makes sense and athletically makes sense. Um, so it was definitely a great choice that I decided to go there and continue my academics and athletics there. Um, while I was at UMPI, I was able to continue a lot of things that I was involved in at Corning. Um, when I was at Corning, I was inducted into the National Society of Leadership and Success um, Honor Society. Um, when I got into UMPI, I was able to be a part of the club there for it. So we helped host a lot of events for incoming inductees and we helped put on um, at the end of the year um, a ceremony for them. Well, at least we helped plan one, but because of COVID, we weren't able to actually do the actual induction for people. Um, but it was nice to be a part of that club and be able to continue something that started at Corning. Um, I also was able to continue my RA status when I went to UMPI. I was an RA my second year at Corning and then my senior year at UMPI, I was an RA as, as well. Um, obviously I got to continue my athletics from Corning to UMPI. Um, definitely miss playing softball so much at Corning. I would often reminisce Oh, about the good times with Stacy and all my other teammates, but Umpy was definitely a, a great next stop for me to continue with that. Um, but it was it was really nice to know that I still was able to keep in contact with a lot of professors from Corning as I went on to Maine. Um, I actually one of my favorite professors from Corning, Brian Hill. Um, I had him for a lot of my classes before I left Corning. He had came up to me and told me he's like, "Do you know that?" one of the kids in our class, Cullen, he's going to be going to school with you. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to know someone when I go to school now. Because I was completely sure that I was going to have to make all new friends. And I was like, I don't want to do that. I did that for the first two years. I'm comfortable with the people people here. I'll just be isolated when I go up to Umpi. But he was like, no, Cullen's coming with you. <laughs> so it was always nice that Stacy and my teacher, Brian, and even Jackie, uh, Van Buren, when she was working at Corning, she would come and check in on me. They all would always check in on me. Still to this day, if I need um, letters of Rex or if I just text them to say hello, ask them how their day is going, they're always welcome for all of that. So it's always nice to still have them in my back pocket. 